hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be working on our hallway uh, makeover um, as you can see it does need a lot of work um, we want to redo the flooring um, I've already posted my video of the hall closet makeover so please if you haven't already check that one out um, but you will see that also at the end of this video there is so much work to be done so let me get started Okay, I'm getting ready to paint the hallway and I will be using this Valsprout Ultra Interior Paint Plus Primer from Lowe's. It's in the color Granite Dust. Um, it is similar to the paint we had up before I started this makeover, um, but I do like this color. It's also what we used in the bathroom, so I just thought it'd be perfect to extend it out um, to coordinate with the colors that I used in the bathroom. Okay, so the flooring that I will be putting down today is the same flooring that we used in, during our kitchen renovation. And it is this these luxury vinyl planks from the Home Depot uh, made by the Home Decorators Collection in the color or style option Pelican Gray. Um, I do like it because it's waterproof, it does have the underlayment attached, and it uses the click lock system. Okay, so before I put this flooring down, I did want to fill in um, the patches of concrete that is missing. And I use this Henry Premixed Patch and Level that I picked up from Lowe's. Um, I've never tried it before, but the reviews are pretty good on it, so I decided to give it a try. Um, and as you can see, there used to be some carpet here um, before we moved into the house. And so now we just want to fill in these holes um, before I put the flooring down. Okay, so after I laid all my boards out to create my first row, um, I did have a four inch overhang. So I did want to cut two inches off the first board of the first row and the last board of the first row um, to make it even um, and make it look more symmetric um, as far as getting the stagger pattern. And then to create this, starting with the second row, I just took a plank and cut it in half. Um, my husband told me this would just be the easiest way to um, do this and I would use one board for the beginning of the second row and one for the end of the second row and I will continue that every other row um, as many as I need it and here since this is my first time putting down this type of flooring um, I wasn't trying to cut into doorways or out of doorways um, I decided to just do that part separate so I just made all my measurements um, and I came out and of course you see me marking them on my board um, and then I went on oh, my plank, I should call it my plank. Um, and here I just cut, cut it in half and then I'll go ahead and cut off the piece that I need for one of the doorways. And I did this for um, every doorway down the hall. Um, I didn't record me cutting all of them and putting them in, but this was um, the way I did that. And it turned out just fine by doing it this way. And then I just used my jigsaw, of course, to just cut it off. So here I am just putting the flooring down and I'm just going to add, continue this time lapse so you guys can just see. Um, this is not a tutorial because this is my first time putting it down, but um, it wasn't too hard. So I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of this video.
Okay guys, so after I um, put the floor down, of course, I did go ahead and start on the trim. Um, so what I did was I took a piece of my trim and I made little marks on it, little dots um, where I thought that angle would start. And then I used my speed square to draw the lines. And the lines may not have been necessary, but for a beginner, it did help me to remember the direction of the cut once I took the piece out to the miter saw. So again, here I am. I've already made my mark, um, and then I'm just going to use my pencil to draw the line. So once I went out to the saw and cut all the pieces, I did come back in and I was going to go ahead and nail this one up, but then I thought maybe I should first do a drop fit just to make sure it fits. So I took um, a piece of the trim and just put it up to see if it fit, to see how big my gap was, um, because it wasn't perfect obviously, but as you can see the gap was not that bad and I knew I could just fill it in um, with some caulk um, because we're going to paint them anyways. So again here I am just trying to make sure it's you know it fits good enough you can see the doorway on the right I just did that one the night before so um, and they came out fine so I'm just gonna nail this one up since it does fit pretty well and then the left piece um, I did have to go back out and cut this one a little bit more because I didn't quite get it right but um, that's an easy fix sometime on these so I did go out and cut it and it turned out just fine Okay, here I am working on the baseboards in the hallway. I started by measuring each section um, and then, you know, drawing my line on my board, cutting it out, and then bringing it in to make sure it fit. I did this twice, but then I thought that it'd be a better idea to just go ahead, measure as many sections that I could that would fit on this full length board, and then come out here and cut them all at one time. So as you can see here, I measured one section, drew my line, measured another section from that line, and so forth. And I did this all the way down the board as you know as many as I could. So again, here I am just cutting the boards after I've made all my marks. Um, and this was this was probably one of the easier parts of my project that I've been doing so far. And then of course I'm bringing them in to make sure they fit. Okay, so once I got all of my boards measured, cut, and primed, I did go ahead and paint them with this emerald urethane trim enamel by Sherwin Williams. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use this in one of my bathrooms, and I also use it in my kitchen cabinets on my kitchen renovation. And I absolutely love, love, love this paint. Okay, so after all that hard work of working on the door trim and the baseboards, my husband and I decided, um, just instead of just replacing the doors and the trim uh, we wanted to go ahead and replace the entire door frame so we went um, to Lowe's well I went online and we purchased these pre-owned doors and I'm so glad we did
Okay, so if you didn't check out my haul closet makeover, I did show you guys how I took some leftover wallpaper and used it to make a piece of artwork that I thought would complement our hallway very well. Thank you.